The National Economic Council has recommended the withdrawal of the current tax reform bill from the National Assembly in order to pave the way for more comprehensive consultation and consensus building among key stakeholders, making the recommendation in response to a presentation by the Chairman of the Presidential Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms Committee, Mr. Taiwo Uyedele, the Council called for more extensive consultation with stakeholders to align on the far-reaching impact of the proposed tax reforms. TVC State House correspondent Femi Akonde has details. A setback for President Bola Tinubu's tax reform bills, which the federal government insists will enhance efficiency and eliminate redundancies across the country's tax operations. The National Economic Council also expressed its reservations over concerns raised about the spirit and letter of the bills. But it advised that the bills be withdrawn to ensure wider consultations. For the proposed uh, reforms. So Council therefore uh, recommend the need to withdraw the bill uh, currently before the uh, National Assembly on Tax Reforms so that we can have uh, wider uh, consultations and also build consensus uh, around these uh, uh, reforms for the benefit of... Uh, this approach aligns with NEC's statutory responsibilities to advise the President on economic matters and policy implementation. Okay third fund to the growth and development of education in Nigeria. Furthermore, on the rationale behind the establishment of NASENI, that is the mandate of NASENI, which is to encourage production of local goods and services. The National Economic Council also directed the Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation to comment a comprehensive integrity review of the state of Nigeria's waterways and dams as part of efforts to mitigate the ravaging impact of floods. There was serious emphasis on the need for uh, a massive program of dredging or desilting of the waterways and have a firm program of continuous desilting almost on an annual basis. The council was also giving updates on the ongoing economic reforms and its impacts. Investment in resilient infrastructure and services for internally displaced persons and host communities because it's not only the internally displaced person that needs support but host communities need support as well in order to, support, to host them. People are paid after they have been uniquely identified biometrically and they are paid digitally through a bank account or mobile wallet. And those payments have been rolled out. They've now, we have reached 5 million households. The National Economic Council's recommendations are just advisory. But it may go a long way in determining President Tinubu's next course of action and also set a process for further engagement with the governors and other critical stakeholders. Femi Akonde, TVC News. Abuja.